Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Monday, July 3rd. And over the next uh, couple of weeks, we don't expect any big uh, heat waves or cool waves or major storms, at least right now. But we do have the potential for some significant rain across the southern part of the state as we get into later Wednesday into Thursday. But the models have been backing down in that quite a bit. So we're going to want to watch those here over the next several runs to see if that's a trend or a hiccup in the models. And again, uh, some of the areas were being predicted to get one to three inches of rain from around Lansing South, possibly even up towards the Breckenridge area. So we're going to watch that closely. But right now, the best bet is the heaviest rain is going to stay just to the south of us. But again, something we're going to watch closely, especially down in our southern branches around uh, Blissfield, Jasper. And you can see the extended outlook. I think we're going to be a couple of degrees either side of normal, basically a normal weather pattern. And then as far as precipitation, we're going to look like we may dry out. And that may be good news to get the wheat harvest in in many areas. If we look at the uh, Madden-Julian Oscillation, the MGO, and you can see it's in a rather weak uh, state right now with pretty much everything clustered towards the center. There are no big indications of blocking that will take place, which would give us potentially uh, either a prolonged period of heat or cool. We just don't see any of that uh, coming up. And if we look at the uh, Southern Oscillation Index, you can see uh, we talked about back in February at the Winter Outlook Conference that we would probably uh, see ourselves go into a uh, El Nino or a weak El Nino as the summer progressed. And you can see we just now entered that here about four or five days ago into a very weak El Nino state. But even the night or the uh, 60 days is starting to head in that direction as well. So pretty interesting there. But again, with that uh, it said, it's not going to be a strong El Nino. So we don't expect a cool, wet summer, which is typical for a strong El Nino. But I think we're going to continue to see temperatures a little bit above normal for, through much of the growing season, along with uh, above normal precipitation. As far as precipitation for the month of June, one last roundup, you can see 7.86 inches of rain in Breckenridge, all the way down to 1.46 in Henderson. Other than the last four days, they picked up about an inch, inch and a half of rain in some areas across southeast lower Michigan. It was very dry there. And if you get up into Midland and into uh, Isabella County for the month, many places between 9 to 14 inches of rain for the entire month. Very wet, uh, just off to the north of the Breckenridge area. And if we look at conditions out there this morning, temperatures mainly in the uh, upper 50s to the low and even mid 60s, pretty variable depending on cloud cover. And you can see over the cool spot over in Owego at 55 degrees. As far as the radar out there this morning, some showers and a few thunder showers across the southeast part of the state. Again, these should sink to the south and weaken this morning. And I think plenty of sunshine the next couple of days with highs a couple of degrees either side of 80. And if we look at the weather map this morning, you can see uh, that front has moved through the area. It's going to bring a little bit cooler, drier air in as a high pressure system from Canada will be under control. And then eventually it'll slide off uh, to the east. And then as we look at Tuesday, that front farther south, and again, plenty of sunshine for much of the Great Lakes. And finally, in the Wednesday, we begin to look at some activity that may be coming in from the west. And again, we're going to really want to watch the models here closer to see how much moisture can return and where that front lies as far when the storm comes through. Right now, the best bet for the heaviest rain is going to be across much of the Ohio Valley, where several inches of rain could fall. If we look at the precipitation, this was the seven-day outlook uh, based off the uh, models. And you can see uh, many of the areas of southern lower Michigan were predicting uh, quite a bit of rainfall. And again, the trend has been downward and further south. But we're going to want to watch this whole area closely as we could have another pretty wet period. And I'm more concerned for the areas around Blissfield, Jasper, uh, possibly up uh, towards um, Brown City. But uh, again, mainly over southern lower Michigan as it looks right now. But you can see that's a lot of rainfall and it's pretty close. So we'll have to watch the models very closely. And as far as forecast, this is the rainfall over the next 72 hours, dry across much of the uh, northern half of uh, lower Michigan with very little precipitation back into the UP. And again, for today and tomorrow, temperatures just a few degrees, either side of 80 degrees with lots of sunshine. And then again, we'll keep a close eye for Wednesday and Thursday to see if we uh, end up uh, seeing some significant rainfall or not. Again, that certainly is a possibility, and I'm not saying we're not going to get it, but uh, something we want to keep an eye on. And uh, thanks for stopping by and have yourself a great day, a great work week, and 73s to all.